Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my second paycheck of January and I am paid bi-weekly, but I do cash stuff weekly. So this is the first half of my paycheck once I have figured out bills and expenses and keep that money in my account i pull out the rest so this is the first half so 263 dollars 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 200 210 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 61 62 63 so I have this sitting here. If you want to know why it's sitting there, um, go ahead and watch my previous video. I'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys. It's a much different video, but I decided to do kind of like a haul video, like what I spent with my budgeted money. I really am wondering if you can hear my growling stomach. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's growling a lot. Okay. So let's start with my cash wallet and as per usual, here let's leave this here, as per usual we're going to do $60 here. Okay, oh you know what, this would be a great time to talk about my grocery story. So I grocery shop a, lo a lot of times at Walmart. I used to shop at ShopRite quite a bit. The prices are higher in most cases. So when inflation was starting to get really, really bad and I was noticing it a lot, I switched over to Walmart. Now a tip for you guys, make sure you are checking what you are buying. I thought I had noticed it last time I went shopping and I decided to take pictures and it's like I am so neurotic with this right now it's ridiculous like when I go shopping I literally pull out firstly I have a list um, that's one thing that has helped me stay on a $60 budget. I have a list when I've gone in and got things without a plan uh, yeah, it, not so good. The dollar can't stretch as much. So go on with the list. That's that's step one. <laughs> step two, I pull out my calculator and I literally, to the penny, calculate everything. And this is how I noticed there was a problem this time and last time because it had me three, four dollars above my budget. And um, the one thing I noticed, like their bread, they had it marked for a dollar ten, but it scanned up more than that and that was one thing that I had noticed from a previous trip so I made sure to take a picture so I went and um, customer service gave me adjustments and things of that nature but Walmart I remember seeing an article about it somewhere or a reel or something and it is so very true that Walmart's price tags are so inaccurate and uh, just be double checking you guys you know, you could be going out of budget because of they're not keeping up with changing their price tags. Teddy says hello. Hi, baby. Hi. Yeah. Teddy wants attention right now, but she's here with me. I would take a photo of what she looks like right now as I'm filming, but I am using my phone to film. She looks like she's looking to jump up on my lap. But that was something I wanted to tell you guys about that. This is a great segue into the Teddy update too. So um, she has now been seen twice at the vet. So the first time was the emergency video, video the, the emergency visit. The second time was a two week follow up. She did have to get more antibiotics and she may need to be seen a third time. So she may need to be seen February 2nd. So I'm not quite sure. She definitely does look better. Kind of questionable if her lip is still swollen at times. She was making a weird face last night, so that could have just been it. But um, I appreciate everybody that has asked about her. She is my best friend of the non-human variety. <laughs> it sounds so, so weird saying that. But she really is. She's my sidekick. I love her so much. Um, if you've ever had pets you know how much joy they bring to your heart but 
she's an anomaly as far as as that she's beyond like i've had pets throughout my life but her and um a cat that i had kitty boy i would be devastated if anything ever happened to teddy kitty boy's death was seriously the hardest death next to my stepfather in my life which that's crazy to say human pet i'm telling you there's something about them anyways Let's get back on track. I may put timestamps below for people that don't, don't want to hear these updates and spiels. So anyways, groceries. Just got $60 if you were skipping ahead. And next up is going to be coffee. I am skipping dining out. So coffee will get $5. Okay. And then household is considered a sinking fund for me. I'm going to do $5 in here. I'm trying to get to other categories and kind of keep them slowly increasing. But household has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dollars. Personal care is getting $10. I have it in here and I have an envelope for it too, like in one of my binders. I'll put it in here because I think I do need to, wait, what did I say for personal care? $10. I think I will put it in here because I think there were some things I wanted to get. If not, I can always move it. And then miscellaneous is getting $5. Oh, let's pull out. We do. Actually, we have fun money, we have a dollar left, and we have, let's see how much miscellaneous, we have three dollars, so we have four dollars, and what we will do is take the two dollars, thank you so much, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like I said, look at the previous video. But I have this rollover that I'm starting to put things in. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll do um, like a fun savings challenge for more fun things since this is budgeted money that didn't get used or I'll throw it on debt, I'm not sure. But so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is getting started much later, just because my first pay official paycheck of January wasn't until the 12th. Okay, so back to miscellaneous and giving it its $5. Okay. Okay. And now, I don't have a ton here. I didn't do a lot of cash spending, so I don't have a ton of change, but I'm going to link this Facebook group if you want this challenge. It is free, so we're just going, oh, goodness gracious, <laughs> sorry, so we're just going to add this here, so 25, 35, 45, 46. I don't feel like doing short hand math here. I probably could figure it out. Okay, so we have a dollar forty-seven plus forty-six. So a dollar ninety-three. It sure does add up though. So I will add this to the coin jar. Pre-warning here if uh, you are wearing headphones. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I didn't drop it in like I did last time. Before we completely get rid of this, let's add, so it is in there, to our coffee, the gift card. Thank you so much. Okay, that came from a um, happy mail from someone in this community as well as that two dollars that you saw on the side so thank you so much now let's get into our sinking funds so this first one this is going to be my focus binder now i 
posted a video about that and me putting these things together, but this now is going to be my priority right now. Let's move this candle a bit. It might be out of frame now, but this is my priority is things in this binder. So Teddy is going to get $50. I'm not 100% sure if she is going to need that appointment, but we are going to be prepared. I stuffed $150 and when I did take her for her second follow-up, so the very first visit, the emergency, it was $130.22. The second visit was like $95 and change. And now um, we are definitely, I would say, good to go if she does need to go back. So I'm really thankful that it did not take as much money the second time around. She didn't have to see the actual vet, so that saved money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 100, one, two, three, four. So Teddy has $104. And that is actually awesome if she does not need that third appointment. I have been wanting to beef up Teddy anyways. So I'm really happy that she has this um, this bit in her envelope right now. Fit and Fueled Method is $25 and, oops. This I need to start concentrating on moving forward. Definitely need to beep this up. So it has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, so car insurance is getting $20. Do I need? Yeah, I'll we'll just do a 20. Hopefully I have enough like proper denominations to do this. So it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's awesome. Love to see it. Car maintenance. I'd like to give this a little bit of love moving forward. Definitely want to beef this up more and more. This is getting $10, so it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110 dollars. Okay, medical. I did have to pull out. I had a medical bill that was due. It was $35. So it does not have as much as what it did. But that's okay. That's what it's here for, right? Let's see, we have two tens. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so medical has 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. And then dental is up next. I would like to get into the dentist here and, uh, but I know that I'm going to need work. So I do want to kind of beef this up a bit. I mean, I could always go for a cleaning and then find out the cost too. So there's always that, that way I know a goal to save for, but 50, 60, 70, 80, Wait, let's try that again, just to make sure. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Okay. Oh, I think I was just thinking of another category that it might have more. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's right. It had 74 previous, so it totally makes sense. Okay. All right, so our focus binder is now complete and we are going to move on to our low priority. More of the fun stuff. Not so life serious sort of stuff, but supplements. I need to beef this up. 
for sure because I had, I completely forgot, but on Amazon, that's something I may be canceling in the future, but I had an auto ship that's like every three months of my, um, what is it called? Oh, I can't think of what it's called, but some sort of supplement and it ended up shipping. So I, I need to pay for that. So 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So next money that I have, I may be beefing it up because then also this past week, I was having really intense abdominal pains again, but this time on the left side, I was like super nervous that I might have a hernia, but who knows? As of today, I'm filming this on Saturday, technically, even though the cash stuffing should be filmed on Thursday. I'm just now getting around to doing it. Anyways, it was really, really intense, like almost dropping to the knees sort of pain. And yeah, so my coach from Fit and Fuel Method, who's a certified nutritionist, thinks that you know, my body could just still be adjusting and healing and that sort of thing. So she recommended a probiotic. So I now also have to beef this up for that as well. I purchased that on Amazon. Um, normally, I don't ever pre-buy something without having the money for it first. But given the circumstances and um, that this entire past week I was in pain, not as much pain as I was a week ago, um, now it's kind of faint or I forget about it. So maybe we're regulating things right now and maybe that's why I'm feeling better but yeah <laughs> um, these were important that that was an important purchase that I needed to do but I am going to cash flow that before it even is billed so don't worry about that okay so personal care like I mentioned I had this in my cash wallet but it's here to beef up as well uh, let me see. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to go back to unbudgeted. But anyways, here we will put some money in here. I've really not been cash stuffing this category. This is getting $13. So it has 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I need to get this to about $139 all included for the services that I normally get including tip before I can make an appointment. Okay, so that is it for the low priority binder. And we're gonna hop back over to high priority or focus binder. My focus, Let's get it? <laughs> you wanna focus in on that clutter. Anyways, sorry, that was ridiculous. So unexpected is going to get, that was another thing that hit me. I had some sort of tube buddy annual thing that popped up. I have an annual binder now, but because I just need to get it paid, I'm going to put money in here to save up to before that is billed to me so I can pay that off. What was it around? Like 42 and change. So that money is going to go to that. That's in here right now. And that's why I have this money once I get through that, I want to put a little bit of a buffer. This will be a buffer between me and having to use my emergency fund. If a pop-up expense that I completely didn't budget for or forgot about or whatever that happens, I want to have a little bit of money in here to pay. Okay. So if you've made it this far, go ahead and leave me a sun emoji down below. I appreciate you all being here. And if you have made it this far, let me know how your week has gone. Love to hear from you. I love chatting in the comments. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night.